Hello and welcome to Learn Data. It's great to have you on this channel. I'm Nilesh and in this video, we'll continue to learn about time series in Pandas. Here we'll look at how to change frequencies in a period and then how we can convert between timestamp, period and date ranges. And finally, we'll look at how to you represent out of bound timestamps. For example, a timestamp with a year of 1000. How do we uh, work with that? So let's get into Jupyter Notebook and start coding. Here, I've already created a new notebook with three libraries, NumPy, Pandas, and DateTime. And the, this is the version that I'm using for Python. First, let's go ahead and create a period so we are going to look at convert frequency and within this we are going to create a period now so p is equal to pd dot period and i'm going to use the year 2020 frequency is equal to annual and year and december and if we look at p so that's the period we have created now we can change this so we can change this to month so p dot as frequency month so capital m and we can change how so we can specify how is equal to uh, if we specify start then that would be the start of the year uh, so when we run this, we see that uh, this is at the beginning of the year. So the month is January. Similar to that, we could also specify end of the year. So capital M three and within how we can specify end. So in that case, we get 12 as the month, which is December. Apart from this, we can also change the string of frequency a dash December to a dash November. Say so p dot as frequency, and if we change this to a dash November, so the year ends in November, then we get this particular period. Now, if we check uh, what is the year end for that, so if we change this to as frequency and then uh, look at the month at the end of that year we see that it's november 11. now you're probably wondering why would you need uh, november as the end of the month this could be useful in uh, certain business cases where the fiscal year ends at a particular month for a company and uh, so they could use this approach there Moving on now, let's look at how we can work with quarters. So we're going to create a period PD dot period. And here we'll use 2020 Q4. So the fourth quarter for the year and frequency again, then we'll change it such that it's a quarter. So Q M A R. So that's the quarter uh, ending in March. Now, when we run this for the, uh, when we run this, let's see, P, this is the output we get. Now here, what we can do is look, uh, change the frequency as well. So P dot as frequency, we use the day and we can specify a short form S for start. And here we can see that the start is uh, 1st of January and because we specified day, we get the day here as 01. Next, let's change the frequency D and here if we specify E, which is the end, and in that case, we see that uh, we get 31st of March and that's the end of that quarter. So uh this is a way in which we can use uh dot as frequency to change the frequency in a particular period moving on now let's look at how we can use conversions conversions between uh period timestamp and date ranges so 
So for this, we'll go ahead and create a date range pd dot date underscore range, and here we'll specify dates. So twenty twenty dash zero eight dash two zero, and periods. Let's get just three dates there, and frequency. You can specify month as the frequency. Now, if we look at the date ranges we have created, we have August, September, and October. Now, here we can change. Now, as you can see, this is a date time index. We can change that. So, p dot two underscore period that changes this to period index, and because the frequency was month, uh, here we get. Uh, period index which has months only we do not have the day uh, such as the 31st we could also go ahead and convert this to timestamp so pd uh, p dot two underscore period so that's what we had up above and we can now move this back to timestamp and when we run this what we get is a timestamp with the date, uh, complete date, uh, month, year, month, and day. And we see that the data type has now changed to date time 64. Apart from this, we can also specify the frequencies when we are doing this change. So if, we, if I copy this, and within this, we can specify frequency is equal to month, and we can specify how so here we can specify start. So if we specify start, then what we see here is we are at the beginning of the day, uh, 31st. It will become more clear when we look at the end. So if we specify end, then we see that this is the end of that particular day. So just before one, just before midnight so it's 59.9999 so that's how we can convert between period date uh, date range and timestamps now let's go ahead and look at how we can represent out of bound uh, time intervals so represent out of bound uh, time and for this we'll go ahead and create a period range and that would be p is equal to pd dot period underscore range and we specify start is equal to 1000-01-01 and end as 9000-01-01 so these are definitely out of bound date ranges that we have 1000 and 9000 and here we specify the frequency as uh, just day now when we look at the period range that we have created we get the dates that uh, date back to uh, the year 1000 now if we want to uh, so uh, the interesting thing is because we use period range we are able to create this particular date range without any errors now let's go ahead and create another uh, series pd dot series and here i'm going to go ahead and specify a numeric date so 2020-0820 and then 2020-0821 and then the last one is out of bound so 99901 and let's say 29 so here if we uh, print p these are right now these are just integers but we'll write a function to convert them to a date so the function could be def and let's say get date and we text the parameter x and we are going to return pd dot period and here we'll say year is equal to x and we'll floor divide it by 10,000 and then we have month is equal to x divided by 100 and take more of that 100 and then we have day 
is equal to x person 100 and frequency is the day so that's the function we have created we can apply now this function to the series uh, that we have above so p dot apply gate underscore date and as you can see using the period functionality we were able to include the out of bound year 999999 into this particular output here so i hope in this video you learned how to convert period frequencies within a period and how to convert between period timestamp and date ranges and finally how to represent out of bound time spans in next videos we will continue to learn more about time series please like share and subscribe i hope to see you all in the next video thank you